Hi, I'm Dr. Rich. Welcome to my channel, Very Nice Smile Dental. So a lot of patients ask me, hey doc, why are my dentures getting loose? So today I'm going to talk about why your dentures are getting loose over time. So dentures stay in your mouth by sitting on your jaw bones. What people don't realize is that over time, your jaws will actually shrink. People don't realize that bones are similar to muscles in a way. Let me explain. Everyone knows that if you start lifting weights, your muscles will get bigger, your muscles will get stronger. And same thing, if you stop lifting weights, your muscles will start to shrink and you'll get weaker. Your muscles will atrophy. The same thing happens to the bones in your skeleton. And when you start working out and lifting weights, the bones in your arms and legs start getting stronger. This is the main reason why physicians recommend uh, people start exercising as they get older to hopefully avoid uh, getting osteoporosis. The same process occurs in the jaws. Uh, when you have your teeth and you're able to chew and bite into things, you're putting pressure on your bones in your jaw and that's keeping them strong and healthy. Once you lose your teeth, then you can't put any pressure on your jaw bones anymore and they start to atrophy. Here's a set of four models of the a lower jaw. This will help show the differences uh, that occur once the jaw bone starts to shrink. The first model shows a healthy jaw with all the teeth present. If you look, you can see how tall it is and also from the top view how wide it is, how thick it is uh, in between my fingers. The second model shows what the jawbone looks like after somebody has all their teeth removed. This is what it looks like after it's fully healed. As you can see, it's a bit thinner front to back and between my finger and definitely much shorter, not quite as tall as the model. Let me see if I can get a better angle compared to, you know, the jaw that has all its teeth. So already the bone that holds the teeth in has started shrinking and it started atrophying. So at this point, this is when, where somebody would be getting their first set of dentures. At this point in time, the dentures would stay in fairly well with little to no denture adhesive since there's still enough bone uh, for the denture to grip onto. It kind of overlaps it on both sides. The third model uh, shows a jawbone uh, this is after someone had probably been wearing a denture for several years. As you can see, uh, thinness is still thin as the second model, but the main difference is it's gotten a bit shorter. It's not quite as tall. Again, let me compare, try to compare. This is the third model on the right. And here's the second model on the left. As you can see, there's a bit, bit of a height difference. And again, let me compare it back to the initial jawbone. There's only a tiny little bit left of the bone that holds the teeth in that's still there. The rest has kind of melted away. At this point in time, uh, person you're going to be if you know to help keep the dentures in you're going to be using quite a bit of denture cream or maybe even uh, one of those thicker uh, adhesive pads kind of uh, like c-bond uh, what'll this is also a good point in time to see your dentist because uh, they may dent, the dentist may recommend either a reline or if it's been several years uh, probably recommend a new set of dentures Finally, the last model shows, uh, you know, uh, shows the jawbone where pretty much all the uh, tooth supporting bone is gone. The only part of the bone that's left is the actual bottom edge of the jawbone itself. 
uh, it, so again to compare it to the model right before you can still see there's a little bit of height here here there's nothing so with this uh, if you were to look in the person's mouth this would be almost perfectly flat for floor at this point in time the lower denture really doesn't have anything to grab onto and it would just kind of slide back and forth and it's only the muscles trying to keep it in place once someone's to this point in time the only way to keep the denture from moving around would be to have some implants placed and have an over denture made which snaps onto the implants and again let me compare it to the initial healthy jaw as you can see quite quite a difference of how much bone is lost also at this point because the jawbone is so thin now uh, your chances of breaking your jaw if like should you trip or fall or or bang your chin on something uh, are greatly increased just because it is so thin